Hey guys, welcome to another week of Bella's Lunches. I am just trimming off the edges here ever so slightly. And I'm going to do roll-ups. I only have a, I think like a few pieces of this bread left. So this might be the last day of rainbow bread. I might be able to get one more day in because I have two more slices left, I think. And a couple, you know, just like the... We call them the butts of the bread. I don't know what they're actually called. The ends. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use those or not. But let me tell you. These are going to make some funky looking breadcrumbs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just roll it out. Okay, so now we got our bread rolled out. We are just going to butter it and then put some ham on it. Okay, so two slices of ham and let's roll it up. So let's slice it. And when I put it on, I always put it right through like that little spot to help it kind of stay together a little bit. I can't have this propped up because I made jello. <laughs> so it's green jello. It looks brown kind of on camera. Now those do not look as appetizing, <laughs> do they? They kind of look wrong. Okay, so let's move on to the next. I will just position this camera so now you can see because that is all the prep that I really have going on. Let's see. Okay, so she is going to get some mango yogurt. And I didn't have time to run to the grocery store and pick up some more of that vanilla yogurt. And I happen to have one of these little, you know, what are these? We just buy whatever suits our fancy when we're shopping um, we just kind of keep them in the fridge I like these ones because they're easy and thoughtless you know um, if we're gonna be running errands or something after school sometimes I will just grab one of these guys out of the fridge and a plastic spoon and then just let Bella snack on yogurt in the car I can trust her to do that some People can't be trusted to eat yogurt in the car. Like myself, I really can't be trusted to eat yogurt in the car. But, otherwise, those are really good snack options <laughs> if you're somebody that can be trusted to have yogurt in the car. Okay, so there are some black olives for the center. This is looking so gross. And you know what's a big bummer is I put the same jello in another lunchbox. So we're going to have two gross looking lunches. It, it's not, it, it looks sort of unappetizing from like this stand, like from me looking at the lunch, me looking at it through the camera, it looks even grosser. So I don't know. I don't know if she's going to eat it or not. It doesn't look as gross to, in real life as it does to you guys, but it still looks gross. Does that make sense? I mean, I'm just going to keep explaining it in different ways until it makes sense, which it still doesn't. Okay, so some hummus, and this is just um, roasted pine nut hummus. So there is that. That's probably enough of that. Okay, so that is it. Oh no, that isn't it. She would eat the hummus with the spoon. If I forgot to send the pita chips, she most definitely would eat these with the spoon. So, but I'm still going to pack her some 
um, pita chips in a little snack Ziploc baggie. And I believe I've shown this before, but in case you never saw that video, I'm just, here's my baggies. I just send the sea salt pita chips. I get them at Aldi. And so there you go. There's her lunch. Okay. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Just a little update on what I ended up doing to her lunch is I just added sprinkles to that jello. You know, why not add a little bit extra sugar to her lunch? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But anyways, here's her lunch. Hey guys, okay, this is Bella's lunch for Friday. Oh my gosh, I only have one more Friday of lunch making and then the lunches are done. I'm kind of counting down, but I'm also kind of sad. Oh my gosh, and also, um, I'm making, I'm gonna make a, like a veggie roll up. Well, it's gonna have ham in there too. So like a ham and spinach with black olives with, I'm putting cream cheese on the tortilla right now. Um, but anyways, what I was gonna say is, holy smokes. I just went and checked um, like how many subscribers have come and welcome everybody who is new. I hadn't checked it in, I would say like a week or two. Um, and yeah, holy smokes. There like hundreds more of you are now here and sticking around and I'm so excited. So thanks. I hope you stick through the summer and <laughs> come back next year when we do more lunches. But um, anyways, I just want to say welcome and thanks. And thanks for everybody else who has been here with us all school year and, you know, gone through this experience with me because, holy smokes, we know I had no clue what I was doing at first. But I think we've kind of come a long way. We've started figuring it out. And I love, too, how <laughs> when I'm, like, packing her lunch and, like, I had tried mayo last week and how many of you commented I thought Bella didn't like mayo yep you guys are so right the thing is she also says you know she doesn't like hard-boiled eggs and she doesn't like carrots and I just to be honest I don't always believe her so <laughs> I just keep trying different things and I figure you know what eventually she's just gonna say mom stop it or she's gonna say oh I guess I do like that because you know the hard-boiled egg thing was like within like two weeks of itself First she didn't like them and then all of a sudden she was eating them every single day so I cannot keep up with that child okay so we put some black olives onto there I just kind of chopped them up and this tortilla is the size hold on it's kind of loud this tortilla is the size of um, it's like the fajita sized tortillas so just to give you an idea on um, size wise you know I'm always trying to show you guys how small this box is because I'm afraid if you go and buy one, you're going to be like, okay, Amy was like making little hamster food and that's not big enough for my kids. So I make everything look a little bit bigger and it looks like a lot more than it really is, but um, it's perfect, you know, for Bella because she's just kind of like my little snacker. She just likes a little bit of everything, so... It's a perfect box for us. Anyways, okay. Mia, you okay? Mia's like coughing over there or something serious. Okay, so I'm just kind of throwing this meat on here. I don't know why. So let's roll it up. Oh, and I've gotten also uh, quite a few questions on what time I make, well, not necessarily what time I make her lunch. It's basically, do you make it at night or in the morning? Well, let me tell you, it's 1.30 in the morning right now, so I don't know if I make it at night or in the morning. I make it at 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> Do you consider that nighttime or I consider it nighttime. I consider it before I go to bed. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, I had to get sticks. Now these sticks, oh, they fit perfect. Why did I have to break them last time? I'm just going to... Oopsies, go right. I'm gonna go right through the seam. Oops. 
it. I wonder if I should make two of them or if I should, this is what it's looking like. Um, I had already prepared her jello um, the other day and I just put it in another bento box. I closed the lid and so that section's already done. Doesn't that jello look so much nicer in a blue box? That purple one, oh man, it looked gross. Um, okay, so should I do another row of these or should I put something else there? Um, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna do everything else and think about that. Okay, so in the center, I'm gonna just drop in three black olives because that's all it gets. And then I'm going to do some strawberries. Now, I'm not gonna do that stinking straw trick because it never works for me, so why try? But I'm gonna do this. This was an idea somebody had. So like, make, cut it like that. And then, oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get a spoon. I don't have fresh blueberries, so I'm hoping this is like, still will work. But I'm going to stick a blueberry into here. Oh man, I need a bigger hole. Hold on. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do, that's cute. That is cute. Let's do two. Get up. Up, up, up. Okay, let's do another guy. Cut the hole. Grabbing a blueberry, shoving it in the hole. <laughs> oh no, that guy got squished. Sorry, buddy. Let's do it like this. Oh my gosh, this guy's so fat, he's hogging up the entire space. All right, strawberries are gonna have to go over here. Man. Should I do one more now? I'll do this little guy. Put a hole for the blueberry. Oopsies. I'm doing this. Lazy. Okay. Kind of got in. So next I'm going to do just some vanilla yogurt. Right down here. She is my little yogurt lover. Whoops. in some frozen blueberries and what did I decide over here um I think I'm going to do let's just do spinach is this too green like green and black she really likes spinach and she's not a fan of dressing In fact, I was making a Tuscan chicken the other night for dinner, <laughs> and it called for spinach, so I was chopping up some spinach, and I noticed a few leaves, like, right off on the side, and so I grabbed those, and I started chopping them, and she comes in the room, she goes, hey, what'd you do with my spinach? I set out a snack for myself. <laughs> so 
So yeah, she definitely likes spinach. So there will be her lunch, I guess, for tomorrow. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome everybody. I'm glad that you are here and I hope you stick around and I will see you tomorrow in the What She Eats video. Bye! Oh, no, one more thing. I'm always getting asked, you know, what lunch boxes I use. And I use ones that we got from a place called the Outdoor Campus. It's just like a, not a frilly, it's not a one that you can actually purchase. But, let me move this out of the way. I found this one at Aldi. Okay, so that's the brand, I guess. Let me hold this up. Okay, so here it is. It has like a little spot on the side for her water. That's what I pack her for her drink is water. Um, it's got like a little pouch here that you can stick like a note. I already send her a note too and I never show that either. Um, I can start showing that too, I guess. And then the um, insulated pouch and it fits her box perfectly. I'll show it to you, hold on. So here is her bento box inside of the bag. It closes just fine. So yeah, so I just thought I would show you the lunch bag in case you were interested. Um, it was at Aldi and it was like $7.99 or something ridiculously cheap. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.